Hello, I'm Liz Zorab and this is By The Farm and today I want to talk to you about some of the things I wish I'd known before I started homesteading. This video is part of a collaboration started by uh, Lorella, not a farm girl, and if you're not familiar with her channel, I'll leave a link up here uh, and in the description below. Uh, and also leave links of the other channels that are taking part in this collab. <laughs> My background uh, doesn't include farming of any kind, it does include gardening. So I think one of the first things I would tell myself um, is to be bolder, uh, to be bolder in my decisions and to possibly buy uh, a larger space. Um, this was the right size for us uh, when we chose it. In hindsight, our eight tenths of an acre uh, is adequate for what we want to do at the moment. If I had known then uh, what I know now, I would probably have looked somewhere between four and 10 or 11 acres uh, to allow us to have uh, some larger livestock and maybe uh, some quieter livestock. You're very noisy. And as part of that being bolder, uh, not only could we have larger livestock, uh, but we could actually have a market garden as well uh, to feed not just us, uh, but other people in the area. When I was talking to Mr Joe about this and asking him what he would tell his younger self, uh, without a moment of hesitation, he said, start sooner. <laughs> start on this journey of homesteading and leading uh, a more self-sufficient life uh, much sooner. And in some ways I did, uh, because I started gardening. Uh, and learning about skills of growing my own food, uh, gaining experience, a uh, little bit of know-how um, and a lot of uh, doing things right and wrong uh, in the garden. Well, I started that about 40 years ago. Hello, you. <laughs> Hello. It has been. Uh, it's been a long, slow growing process uh, in terms of uh, gaining knowledge and gaining confidence to grow my own food. I'd also remind myself, uh, or tell myself, uh, that I'm stronger than I know, uh, not only physically, um, but emotionally. Uh, Hoping when these friends of mine become poorly or when it's time to say goodbye to them. But actually, uh, most of all, just in endurance, in keeping going, keeping going when it's the middle of the winter and there's snow on the ground and I don't feel like doing very much. Uh, but I can actually just keep on going. You right there, Waity? Yes. What a good chap. Here you go. Here you go, girls. I would also tell myself uh, that trying to do everything uh, myself is not necessarily the smartest of things. Uh, this morning, I moved this very big raised bed on my own. Well, you know, it almost broke me and it almost broke the raised bed. Uh, so it wasn't the smartest of moves. And asking for help uh, isn't a sign of weakness, it's a sign of being sensible. And of course, uh, there's also that kind of help that you pay for. Uh, so there are times when we just have to ask uh, a qualified tradesperson to come and do something uh, because we don't have the skills, uh, the strength uh, or the equipment. And probably uh, the last thing, um, but possibly one of the most important, Uh, is remaining true to yourself. Uh, so I would remind myself to, to stay true to uh, my value set, uh, my beliefs. My system of working, uh, that makes me comfortable with 
with how I am on a day-to-day -day basis and I don't need to compromise those things uh, to please other people. Many of those things uh, ring true for whatever path we had decided to take. Uh, I am so pleased that we chose homesteading, that we <laughs> live this life uh, with these animals and growing our own fruit and vegetables at a much slower pace uh, than when we were doing the nine to five uh, chaotic management roles we had before this. Is that right, Boise? Is that right? You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. You're such a good chap. I haven't got anything else for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, pal. He's a good boy. And making sure that we spend time every day uh, just enjoying not only being here, uh, the life we lead, uh, but also each other. And the final part uh, of this collaboration is to invite some other channels uh, to join in and to share with us the things they wish they had known uh, before they started homesteading. And so I'd like to invite uh, Jason over at Cog Hill Farm, Rose over at Wholesome Roots, Jamie and Jeremy uh, at Guildbrook Farm, and Kevin and Sarah at Living Traditions Homestead. Uh, I will leave uh, links to those channels uh, in the information below. And so wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today, I hope it's a good one. And I also hope you'll join me again next time.